Isabel, and today I have an Emily Ratajkowski. I've never, I don't know how to say her name, Ratajkowski. So today I have the look that Emily wore to the Met Gala. I really, really love the look. I love the simplicity of it, the glam of it, and the just this bronziness and just the sleekness of it. I thought it was just so gorgeous. I was also requested by one of you guys to do an Emily-inspired look, so here it is. And I think it's very, very gorgeous and glam. The theme of the Met Gala this year was like a futuristic, I'm not sure what, it was like future or something and so her makeup artist really stuck with the theme her outfit was pretty gorgeous really modern so her makeup kind of did some silver up on the eyelid and wasn't like super over the top futuristic but I think the silver the pop of silver on the lid was absolutely gorgeous and it really really went well with her skin tone and her hair color and her eye color you know obviously I kind of contoured my face and shape my eyebrows to look a little bit more like hers you don't have to do that I just kind of do that to make the look more authentic and closer to what she looked like if you guys would like to see how to get this gorgeous Emily Ratajkowski Met Gala look then please keep on watching Starting off with the face, I'm taking my Provise Moisturizer and applying this all over my face to give me a nice dewy and glowy healthy look. And then going through with my Mirabella Primer and applying all over my face for a nice base. And then taking my Tarte absolute favorite foundation in the entire world. This is the Amazonian Clay Foundation and I'm applying quite a bit and you can see I got some on my hair on accident. But I'm gonna go through and blend this out, make sure everything looks nice and even. We want a very flawless red carpet look, that's why it's kind of heavier than usual and then going on to the brows and taking my bodyography brow palette and shaping my brows making them a bit straighter than I normally do because Emily's brows are pretty straight and pretty defined towards the ends of the brows and they're very natural looking so then we're going on to concealer I'm taking my glamouflage by hard candy concealer in tan and going through and highlighting underneath my eyes up on the forehead down the bridge of the nose around the brows and then on the chin and then going through and blending this through with my beauty blender now on to contouring I'm taking my LA girl contour contour color and basically contouring my face to look a little bit more like hers so going down on the jawline to really sharpen it up on the forehead because I had to make it look smaller than mine usually is and then I'm contouring my face like this around the chin just to emulate her very square jaw so I'm going through and doing this you guys don't have to do all this but I love the effect and it really slims down my face as my face is a little bit more round and then I am going through and blending out all the areas with the end of my beauty blender and then just finishing off my brows with my Anastasia brow gel because I forgot to do this at the beginning and then going through and powdering up all the areas that I highlighted And then going through with a matte bronzer and just going over the areas that I contoured. And you want to make sure your bronzer is matte so that you get a more natural effect and not too shimmery overload. Next, I am going to highlight with this pink color from the Carly Bible palette and just taking some up on the highest points of my cheekbones, my chin, and my forehead area because Emily had a very glowy look and also the tip of my nose. And then onto the eyes, I'm taking Nooner by Urban Decay and with a big fluffy brush, I'm just working that through the crease very lightly, not really extending it outwards, just kind of giving me some definition. And then taking Strange, also from Urban Decay, and using this as my brow bone highlight with a little fluffy brush. Next, taking these two shimmery colors from this e.l.f. palette, and these are sparkly shimmery silver colors on a dampened flat brush, and I'm just packing this on the eyelid. There's no really clear picture of Emily's makeup up close with her eyes closed, but this is kind of how I saw through the pictures. So then taking my Tarte Clay Liner, and I totally came out of shot for this, guys. I'm so sorry, but I'm basically creating a very, very simple cat shape. Very thin towards the center, and then kind of thicker through the outer corner, and creating a very small flick, and then going underneath the lower waterline, and connecting this lower waterline to the wing, and then slowly kind of defining the inner corner of the eye, but not making a point. 
And then taking this Lord & Berry pencil and lining the lower waterline. So super simple eyeliner look and then going through and curling the lashes and applying tons of top and bottom mascara. Now you can stop here with the eyes, but I wanted to apply some very natural lashes. And then going through and tight lining the top lash line of my eyes to make my liner look darker. And then going through and lining with this Nude Suede Shoes Lip Pencil by NYX for a very natural look. And I saw she had a glossy mouth, so I'm taking this Liquid Lip Gloss by Bollywood Pro and applying this right over the top like so. Alright guys, so this is the finished look. I hope you liked it. Super easy to do. I think all my looks are pretty easy to do. I don't like to go overboard with makeup, but <laughs> I love how the eyes are super, super dark and intense, but the rest of the skin is nice and glowy. I feel like this look is just the perfect glam look for the summer. So if you guys like the look, please be sure to give me a thumbs up and leave me your comments down below. I like to respond to all you guys' comments and I love hearing your positive feedback and your negative feedback. But you guys are usually so positive and so lovely that you know I never really get negative feedback from you guys, but I just wanna hear your thoughts and also click thumbs up if you wanna see more celebrity inspired looks. I don't usually do celebrity inspired looks, I feel like, so I think I wanna continue doing more. So if you guys have any more celeb looks you'd like to see, then please leave them down below and I'll try to get to them. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you'd like to see more videos from me, please be sure to hit the subscribe button. I'm almost 18,000, which 18,000 subs means almost 20,000 subs. So I'm really excited and I thank you guys so much for your continued support. I love you guys so very much and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.